to the van then, the, the, the Jones gang. The Jones gang, yeah, which I might add, I hate the names, always have done, always will, don't like it. Oh, but you didn't come up with it then? I didn't come up with it, no, but there you go. And who's in them now? I know Rick Wills was Anybody in them. Anybody that wants to be in it. You know, Rick Wills is there. Yeah. Uh, Bucket, you know, Dave Bucket Caldwell. No, I don't know, you, Oh, yeah, do you? Yeah, played guitar with the, that company. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rick Wills also played guitar with uh, Foreigner. Foreigner, yeah. And, yeah. The, and the Reformed Small Faces. Yeah, and he's been in every band, you know, and Bad Company as well. He did a couple of tours with them. Does he just live locally to these people? Yeah. Does he live local? <laughs> he's not funny enough, he does, yeah. He moved all the way from Cambridge mm. up here, and then he's got loads of friends around here now. He gets drunk all the time now. It's very social around here. Is he? Yeah, no, I'm only kidding. Shoot down the mayor. And so does Bucket anyway, but they are. But so do we all. And since the word Bucket. It's a drinking band. It is it? Reminds me of the faces, yeah. It's, oh, oh, you've led me straight into it. The, the, no, the, no, the, no. How did the last formation of the faces come about? I mean, I know all the rumours, and I remember like, Ronnie Wood famously saying to me that um, Rod made us an offer we could easily refuse, which I thought was fair. But I didn't delve into Rod it. Rod made us an offer, or Rod's management. So that, that, that we were able to definitely refuse. Right, okay. uh, because he was uh, busy doing this, busy doing that. It was a very complicated uh, procedure. Uh, we did rehearse, we got back together to see if the sparkle was there, and it still was, it was great. Um, um, but Rod wanted everyone to wear in ears. I don't know if you know what they are. Ah. In ears are things you put inside your ears, like uh, headphones, but they're a really highly sophisticated sound, whatever. I, and then I had some made, and uh, Woody didn't get along with them, nor did Mac. I, I Is it like a little loud, the mouth thing as well? No, the, no. Madonna-esque type thing? No, I do want to get one like that, because I, I used in-ears for the very first time at the Jones Gang gig week before last. And, um, what did I enable you to do? You can't do well, the, real ears? Well, you don't have monitors, so behind you, so... Alright, putting some um, roadies out of work. And I can turn... I get my own mix and I can turn me up or down or anyone up or down, that sort of thing, so I can, um, I'm own. not deafened by the rest of the band. Oh, okay. I have been for like 40 odd years, Yeah. But um, or longer, so I am deaf now, unfortunately, pardon. Well, let's clear that, that up then. But so where did Mick Hutton feel? I went to all in gigs, by the way, a lovely fella, I thought. What? Mick Hutton, where did that come about? <laughs> How did that come about, Mick Hutton? It came about because, um, the, I don't know if you remember, the PRS um, had, had gave us an award. It's an I iconic award and it's only been given out twice before in its 75 year history. Once to, um, I, can't, I can't forget now, aren't I? Definitely Paul McCartney and Andrew Lloyd Webber. And so uh, it was kind of a real honour to receive that. Um, but they wanted to give it to the faces. And, so, and they were having a 75th anniversary at the Albert Hall, big concert with different people on it and oh. stuff. And Mick Upton just happened to be on it and various other people and Andy Ferrer below and lots of people. Mm. Spice Girls, or one of the Spice Girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so um, Rod couldn't do it. Because his manager said, uh, my client's far too busy. So his client couldn't do it. Right. Um, so, so we... Um, cool thing over. So we said, look, it's very kind of you to give us this award, or, uh, but we can't accept it because Rod can't do it, you know. Mm. And they said, no, you don't understand. This is not just a, 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 a band award. It's an individual award as well. Mm. So we want you to do it. But you have it one week, then you give it to Mac, and then... No, we get one each. Oh, right. Yeah, they've got more money than anybody else now. Oh, okay. PRS, more money than God, I should think. Mm. Well, I said, well, to receive the award, I said, well, hang on, we haven't got a singer. So I said, who's on the bill? And they said, Mick Hartnell, da 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 And I went, oh, I'll tell you what, let's ask each one of Paul Carrick as well was on. Mm. So we asked, we did three songs, and we asked uh, Mick Hartnell to do one, and he insisted he didn't want to do Stay With Me. Mm. And uh, who else? Uh, Paul Carrick uh, did one, and Andy Fairwell though. So we got. I had a free episode where you went, yeah. Yeah, so oh, that's, that, players, you that's how we did it, and it was quite, it was good fun. So we yeah. got by with that, and we, because of that, we managed to receive our iconic award. So I'm now an icon. Fantastic, Whatever yeah. that means, I can con anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.